and kiss our play. It was a busy day down at Brendam Docks. Ships were coming and going, and Cranky was working harder than ever. Yar, matey, said Salty. Cranky, you need to slow down. You're working too hard. You're going to cause an accident. I need to work hard, said Cranky. You don't know what it's like. I'm the only crane at Brendam Docks. There's literally like six other cranes back here. Salty's right, said Porter. You're working way too hard. You need to slow down. Yar, perhaps they need another crane down at the docks to lighten your load there, matey. No way, said Cranky. The last thing I want is another crane down here, ruining my docks. Um, you know we can hear every word you say back here. Just then, Winston came on to the Brendam docks, carrying Sir Topham Hat. Yar, look alive, matey. It's the boss. You don't want to be caught slacking on the job. Yar. Cranky, I hear that you have been working very hard here at Brendam Docks. I've come to see if the work is too much for you. Don't worry about me, Sir Topham Hat. Everything is ship shaped down here at Brendam Docks. Yar. Tis true, Sir Topham Hat. There's no better crane than Cranky. He's unreplaceable. I think Cranky's got it all under control, Sir Topham Hat. You know, there's more than just Cranky here, folks. As Cranky was swinging around his load, proving to Sir Topham Hat that he was really useful, he swung too fast, and the bubbles flew off and landed on some nearby trucks. What was that, Cranky? Oh, uh, uh, that was just a slip of the hook, Sir Topham Hat. Yar, nothing to worry about, sir. Give us a few minutes and she'll be ship shape and seaworthy. Yar, nothing to worry about, Sir Topham Hat. We'll have it picked up in no time. Hmm. The next day, Thomas came down to Brendam Docks. Percy was already waiting. Hello, Cranky. I heard you had a little bit of an accident yesterday while Sir Topham Hat was here. Never you mind that, Thomas. You worry about your own business. You know, you've been working a lot lately. Maybe having another crane out here to help you isn't such a bad idea. When you have a lot of work to do, there's nothing wrong with asking for a little bit of help. That's what my best friend Thomas says. Actually, I don't think I've ever said that. You two need to worry about your loads and worry less about what's happening down here on the docks. Cranky was so angry that he didn't see he was lowering the load but missing Bullstrode. And he dropped the load right into the water. Uh, gee, Cranky, you missed. Now look what you two did. You got me so upset talking about other cranes that I dropped the load. Just then, Cranky looked over and noticed that Sir Topham Hat had seen the whole thing. Hmm. That night, Cranky had a terrible dream. Cranky dreamt that engines kept coming down to the docks and needed loaded and unloaded very quickly. No matter how many engines he loaded, more engines kept coming with more and more things to load and unload. More engines kept coming and coming. The freight boats were getting very impatient. Soon, Cranky was loading and unloading the wrong freight. No matter how hard he worked, even more engines were coming in with even more freight. The engines were getting very angry. Cranky couldn't work fast enough for all the engines. Cranky was swinging like crazy and knocking loads over. The other engines were very angry. The boats weren't getting loaded at all. Cranky was swinging in circles until finally Cranky fell into the water. Cranky woke up in a flash. Salty and Porter were already at the docks. Cranky, Sir Topham Hat is here. Yar, I think he wants to have a word with you, matey. Cranky, I've been watching you down here at Brendam Docks, and I've noticed that there seems to be too much work for just one crane. There is more than one crane at Brendam Docks. So, I've decided to help you. 
Meet Carly. Hello there, Cranky. Pleased to meet you. Well, that's great. You're just what you need, matey. Another crane to give you a helping hook. Carly's not here to help Cranky. She's here to replace him. What? Yar. I've been noticing how sloppy you've been getting. This is your last chance. Only one crane can run Brendam Docks. It's either Cranky or Carly. And may the best crane win. Well then, I'd better get to work, hadn't I? Oh no, these are my docks. No one's going to come in here and take them over. And now, I'm off to lunch. Goodbye. As Sir Topham Hatt drove away, the cranes knew that Brendam Docks was only big enough for one of them. You were yesterday's news, Cranky. I'll be taking over the docks now. No way, Carly. These are my docks. You can't outwork me. And the two cranes set off to work. Cranky, this pipe is big and heavy. Can you unload it for me, please? Sure thing, Percy. Nice work, Cranky. Thanks, Carly. You're the best. You're the number one crane on all of Sodor. You're the most splendid crane on all of Sodor, Carly. Gee, thanks, Cranky. You got it, William. Huh. Thanks, Carly. You're the best. Whoops. Sorry about that, Billy. Thanks for the lift, Cranky. Thanks, Carly. Thanks, Colin. At least someone thinks I'm useful. The engines were working so hard against each other that they didn't see the danger. Then there was trouble. The two cranes became locked on the lines. Their loads were tangled. Cranky, let go of my hook. You let go of my hook. The harder they pulled, the tighter they got. Yar, you've been working against each other. What you need to do is work together. How are we gonna work together when one of us is gonna end up as scrap? Hey, we need to work against each other. Yar. Oh, don't worry about that. Old Salty has a plan. Yar. Later that day, Sir Topham Hat came back to Brendam Docks. Well, the docks look much cleaner. And there are no ships waiting to be loaded. All my trains are on track and on time. Salty. Which of these two cranes worked the hardest? Yar! They both worked together, Sir Topham Hat, and they cleaned the docks. Ship shape and seaworthy. Yar! Well, I must get rid of one of them. Which one should I get rid of? Yar! If I were you, I wouldn't get rid of either of them, Sir Topham Hat. Really? And why is that? Yar! Because if you do, they'll be sure to dump your personal candy into the sea. <laughs> They wouldn't dare! I... I wouldn't try that if I were you, love. We'll be sure to do it. We're working together now, Sir Topham Hat. You better listen to Salty. But I must get rid of one crane. Don't worry about that, Sir Topham Hat. I have an idea. Later on, at Brendam Docks... Gosh, Toad. It sure is good to see Carly and Cranky getting along, and things sure are efficient. That's right, Mr. Oliver. But I wonder what crane they got rid of. I never should have opened my big mouth. Something's going to have a crash. Daddy. Wouldn't you just know something like that would happen? Yep, something like that happened. 
Oh. Yuck. Uh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Carly, what's going on? Ah. Ooh, what happened, Toby?